Is there a nation in the world defined by diversity and rich cultural practices? Is there a country in existence where natural talents and technology touch the mounts of success each day? Is there a land blessed with the most picturesque of terrain, and that too at the most strategically significant location? This is a land where the most ancient of civilizations were born and bred. A land where technology shapes the future and a land where opportunities are welcomed with an open embrace. This is Pakistan, the land of opportunities. With its global trade ties and friendly relations across the world, Pakistan is one of the fastest emerging economies in the world. In fact, the figures are so promising that Pakistan has been included in the list of emerging and growth-leading economies of the world. The list include countries who are expected to lead the global growth in the next decade. Paving the way to a better future is Pakistan's expanding energy sector that once thrived greatly on abundant natural resources like coal and gas. These prospects are continuously being explored with projects like Nandipur Power Project. The key, however, is the clean alternative energy. With high-stake investment in the alternative energy, Pakistan is not only making an energy-secure future, but developing at Cholistan Desert, the largest solar park in the world to set an example, one of many to come. Blessed with one of the most mesmerizing landscapes in the world. Pakistan's tourism industry offers a unique opportunity to globetrotters.
The scenes that took Alexander the Great's breath away thousands of years ago await inspired eyes even today. The magical mountains in the northern areas. The picturesque beauty of Balochistan. The lush green valleys across Punjab and the ancient Indus civilization attract nearly a million tourists each year. The ones who visit once, come back for more. From the Mughal architecture in Punjab to the ancient landmarks of Indus civilization in Sin. From the diverse food culture of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa to awe-inspiring cultural practices of Balochistan. <laughs> Pakistan offers a complete cultural insight into different eras of history. <laughs> History, however, is in the making in metropolitans like Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad, Peshawar, and Faslabad. The amazing feats that modern architecture achieves in these cities is exemplary. With grand malls like Centaurus, Dolmen, Sitara and more, the country is entering a new era of progress and prosperity for businesses. Natural beauty, modern architecture and cultural heritage are not the only things in Pakistan that bring in visitors. Pakistan's economic possibilities and promising future has always inspired interest by international investors. The largest investments in the region have come from Pakistan's trusted friend and ally through thick and thin. Since its inception, China has been a part of several mega-projects in Pakistan.
the excellence in mutual cooperation continues with China's largest overseas investment to date, the Bach China Economic Corridor. The corridor plans to connect the strategically placed Gwadir port in Pakistan to Xinjiang region in China. China, Pakistan economic door, I think is a blessing in disguise. China is helping us with $46 billion. $46 billion is a big money. You will see that all, all along all this road, there will be a lot of economic zones, industrial areas, and I think in the next two to three years, Pakistan is going to, um, going to be a very great country. Our export will definitely go up, and our industry, there will be a lot of industrialization in the country for the, for the benefit of Pakistan. On completion, the corridor would offer a wide variety of options in trade and energy sector to investors and businesses in both brotherly nations, making Pakistan the hub of international business. Alhamdulillah, the growth of the economy is going very well. Now all the indicators at this point of time are very, very good for the growth of the Pakistan's economy. I foresee with this CPAC project, it will be a game changer for the economy of Pakistan. And there will be a lot of, lot of uh, opportunities for the business community and for the growth of the Pakistan economy. We expect lot of direct foreign investment will come. Lot of other countries are taking too much interest to build the infrastructure, to build the industry, to build the all facilities which are required for this huge project. New markets and resources are the key factors inspiring investors to place their trust in investment destinations. The opportunities for a successful foreign investment are based on real-life success stories. Pakistan's industries and trade has achieved some major milestones in both production and value. Rated as the fourth largest cotton producer in the world, Pakistan's textile industry is the largest manufacturing industry of Pakistan. The industry not only employs over 30% of Pakistan's workforce, but also contributes 8.5% to the GDP of Pakistan. A large potential of this skilled workforce still remains untapped as an amazing opportunity to international investments. I would like to invite all the potential investors around the globe to come and visit Pakistan. Law and order situation is improving, power shortage is improving, and the government is giving a lot of incentives like tax benefits, import duty benefits for establishing industries. There are a lot of uh, zones uh, around the country where the foreign investors can come and put their industries which can cater to a, a 180 million people uh, market, this is not a small market. Pakistan has minerals, lot of minerals, explorations of value addition in Thaagi. You can go to Skilled, you can go to the infrastructure in the world and in Pakistan. And if anyone tells me, there is a quote of an international company which has lost in Pakistan. I am not an economist, I am a British trade leader. This is the best time to invest in Pakistan.
chemical industry contributes to the fabric of modern society in each sector. Be it consumer goods or latest technology, chemicals produced in Pakistan's chemical industry contribute to economic growth. A major part of Pakistan's export comes from the surgical instruments and sports goods produced in Sialkot. The surgical and medical instruments are not only a great service to patients all over the world, but also bring in a huge chunk of Pakistan's export revenue. The sports goods produced in Pakistan, especially footballs and cricket equipment, are not only considered the finest in the world, but are also recognized and used by international sports organizations like FIFA. Being an agricultural country, products like sugarcane, wheat and rice are prime exports of Pakistan's largest sector. With Indus Basin Irrigation System being the largest irrigation system in the world. Pakistan's agricultural sector paves the way to high-quality agricultural exports. Our agriculture thrives while the meat and milk production through high-quality cattle brings in a huge revenue for the country. Pakistan produces the finest leather and leather products in the world. In fact, Pakistan's leather is considered of such refined value that the European Union has recently launched the Pakistan Leather Competitiveness Improvement Program to support this sector exclusively. Pakistan produces one of the finest finished leather in the world and Pakistan produces very high quality leather garments and leather gloves. So there is a big potential of Pakistan export of leather. Of course, time being, there is a recession because of that recession is worldwide. But I can tell you, I see a very big future for leather export out of Pakistan. Another versatile sector bringing in a lot of revenue is Pakistan's fruit sector. Pakistan produces and exports some of the finest mangoes, citrus fruits, dates and bananas in the world. The initiatives taken for mango export are already bringing in good results with a variety of over 125 types of mango produced in Sindh only.
The dry fruit industry is another sector that is slowly but steadily increasing its international demand. Construction of a highly connected system of roads and motorways is bringing Pakistan closer and promoting trade each day. With the ever-increasing demand of automobiles in the country, several international automobiles and brands are now assembled in Pakistan. The process not only makes these vehicles affordable, but also offers the comfort of after-sales support and services. Textile and pharma sector is competing in the global market. And technology reaches each individual through the ever-growing telecom sector. Pharmaceutical industry has a potential that it can increase their export up to $2 billion in just two or three years' time. After that, there is another industry which is called the fruit and vegetable industry. They are also exporting the fresh uh, fruits and vegetables to different countries in the Middle East, Europe and America. In this sector, we also see great potential of, after pharmaceutical industry. With ever-increasing demand, globally, Pakistan ranks as the second largest in production of buffalo meat, fifth in milk, third in cotton consumption and export, fourth in cotton production fourth in sugarcane, fifth largest in dates, spices, dry chilies and pepper, sixth largest in mangoes, okra and sugarcanes, eleventh in oranges, fourth in apricot, tenth in pistachio, eighth in wheat production, eleventh in rice production, second in natural salt reserves, third in copper reserves, fifth in coal reserves, tenth in labor force, and 29th in natural gas and ninth largest country in mobile phone usage. The land of opportunity spreads its wings and perch at the dawn of a new era. This new era of success and development is being led by the youth of Pakistan the energetic minds and bodies who participate in healthy activities to build a healthier nation. Inspired by leading sportsmen like squash legend Roshan Khan and Jahangir Khan, the Sultan of Swing Vaseem Akram and the field hockey maestro Sohail Abbas, Pakistan's young blood is full of passion and positive energy and energy displayed in the ground, as well as in academic excellence. From Arfa Karim to Nobel laureate Malala Yousafzai, Pakistan's young generation has proven its mettle both in and out of the academic circle. With role models like the world's greatest philanthropist, Abdul Sitar Idi, Pakistan's Nobel laureate in physics, Dr. Abdus Salam, and the internationally acclaimed musical legend, Ustad Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, the youth of this talented nation is both creative and committed to excellence. 
These confident young minds keep themselves updated with latest technologies and research to offer a potential beyond boundaries. Skilled workers make a safe bet for any investment. Pakistan's workforce is not only highly skilled, but time and again tested at both national and international level. In a world where skilled workmanship is hard to find and industries have to rely on untrained resources, Pakistan opens up a totally different avenue for international investors. These dedicated workers in a gemstone cutting and treatment unit in Peshawar are just an example of the diverse skill sets mastered by Pakistani workmen. In a unique sector, these workmen are bringing out the shining Pakistan one precious stone at a time. I would say that Pakistan is really a rich country which has a big human resource of about 180 million people and we have all the four seasons and we have all the important crops we can we have a lot of uh, rice wheat cotton which we not only supply to our own country but we also export to different markets in the world with distances in global trade and economies decreasing each passing moment pakistan is on the edge of a digital industrial revolution a revolution that would bring this diverse nation to the forefront of economic leadership. The nation that passed through tests and turmoil stands ready to take the bull by the horns. The land of opportunity calls out the global investors to its promising embrace. Where destiny awaits them. Pakistan. A land where dreams come true.